All right, let's talk about how to add pictures and background images to your Twine project. I don't recommend hot linking to images, which means simply copying and pasting a URL for an image off of someone else's site. In my middle school classes, it's really the only option that we have available for including pictures on our Twine project. The problem with hot linking is that because the pictures are stored on a stranger's site, they could be deleted or the stranger could change the image at any time. Sometimes they'll replace it with an image that's Says that hot linking is not allowed or is forbidden. Here I have an image that I'm storing on my own site. I'm simply going to copy the URL and go back to Twine. I'm going to use a triangle bracket, IMG space SRC equals, and then paste that web address. Finally, a closing triangle bracket. Let's see what that looks like. Let's add another one from a Google image search. Make sure that you click view image. Now the exact same thing, I'm going to copy the address, img space src equals, and a closing triangle bracket. In order to create a background image, we have a two-step process. The first thing that we need to do is go to ohiofi.com, that's ohiofi.com slash twine. And right here, I have a tutorial about how to create a background image in twine. There's some CSS code that we need to copy and paste. And we're going to paste this into the story style sheet. So click on the name of your project and then edit story style sheet. I paste that CSS code here and I've got two different background images that I don't want. Here's the one that I want. It is a sunset. I've clicked search tools and large to make sure I have a nice HD image. Don't forget to click view image, copy the web address, and replace the web address that's currently there with the new web address. This background is no longer a castle, it is now a sunset, and I don't need the harbor background at all. Okay, that's the first step. Now the second step, step two, I'm going to copy this JavaScript code and use it in a specific passage where I want the background image to change. I could change the background image when I get to the mallet percussion section, I could change it when I get to the cats. In this case, I'm just going to change it at the start and leave it the same for my entire project. Here's the code. Once once again, uh, it is changing it to a background called Castle, and I've just changed that so that it changes it to Sunset.